Well, I hope you're proud of yourself, young man. You and your reprehensible super stud. Edward, please. Not the child's fault. If you're going to blame anybody, blame me. I was taking the trash out, and Foster just slipped right past me now. I don't see any point in assigning blame. They're dogs. They're just following their natural instincts. Oh, just quarter me. Don't worry. See, Foster is going to take care of Annabelle, and if the puppies are born, he's going to take care of them, too. See, he's, he's real smart about that stuff. Of course he is, dear. And I'm sure he won't let anything bad happen. Hey, hey hi, guys. Hey, How was your dinner? Well, AJ made a move on my girl. I think what he means is that I offered mm -hmm. Keisha a job working for the foundation. Uh, unfortunately, it was a good idea. He finally managed to place Keisha where she can really do some good. He's smarter than he looks. Hey, hey, Grandpa, you better take a picture here. Putting Jason on the board might not turn out to be as destructive to inner family harmony as we had originally thought. What's, what's, what's going on? Well, it seems that... Foster has eloped with the love of his life. Annabelle? Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Well, she's run away? Isn't it dreadful? Hmm. Well, Grandmother, she can't go far. She's, she's, she's too close to having her pups. I wouldn't know where to look for them. I, I think I would. Wait a minute, look. Um, why, don't, why don't we alert the Pound and, and the ASPCA, and then first thing in the morning, we'll, we'll put together a search party. Oh, that's cool. Okay. You wouldn't mind, sweetheart? Of course not, Grandmother. We have to find them. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make a list. First, uh, we're gonna start at the river, then go to the catacombs, and then go to the shore, because Foster likes to hang out at the lighthouse. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and make those calls. At least if someone reports finding Foster and Annabelle, they'll know who to contact. I need to call Monica. Okay, Mrs. Quartermain, everything is gonna be fine. We're gonna find them, okay? I promise. Of course we will, dear. Of course we will. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they were at the back door of Kelly's right now. Uh, Foster's a sucker for my leftovers. And, uh, I'm gonna call you as soon as I get home, okay? You have a wonderful outlook, dear. And you have certainly, you've certainly made me feel a lot better than anyone else. I know how much you love Foster, and I'm certain we'll find him, and Annabelle, and their offspring. Don't wander too far, son. I may need your help with this puppy situation. Fight last night? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I put a couple bucks down on that shit. <laughs> Lost. Well, this is a fine how do you do. Hey, Grandpa. Well, good morning, Grandfather. Good, my Aunt Fanny. Now, you know, Ned's absence doesn't surprise me in the least. With the amount of time he spends on his other life, it's hard to remember that he still belongs to this family. But the sight of you two saddens me deeply. Well, Grandfather, I mean, I'd never discourage you from finding fault with Ned, but what have we done? That's the point. You haven't done anything. Here we are in a declared state of emergency, and you're lounging around as if we hadn't a care in the world. Wh which emergency? Annabelle is about to sling her puppies out there somewhere with that Randy Spencer hound. Now, your grandmother was up before dawn worrying about them, and I assured her that the boys were going to mount a search for them. But I see you've made a liar out of them. All right, Grandfather, we're going to search right now. Now, that's more like it. When you find the culprits, I expect you to take the appropriate action. Yeah, we'll bring them back. Get rid of those puppies. Grandfather, you can't be suggesting what I think you're suggesting. It's plain English. When I say get rid of the puppies, I mean get rid of the puppies. Grandfather, we can't do that. May I remind you that Annabelle is a purebred dog expected to give birth to a litter of distinction and market value. But it's not the puppy's fault that Spencer's let an unaltered male dog loose on poor Charles. Grandfather, look, Jason and I have definitely had our disagreements in the past, but I mean, we're together on this one. You're gonna have to find someone else to do in these pups. And I suppose it's uh, pointless to ask you, Reginald. Well, um, I, I've already drawn the line at uh, worms and ducks. I'm, I'm afraid puppicide is out of the question, so... Oh, I'm living with a bunch of whips! All right, I'll do it myself. Reginald, bring the car around. That is, unless you, uh, refuse to drive me? Actually, I'm all booked up today, sir. I beg your pardon. Well, I'm committed to taking Mrs. Quartermain on her uh, errands and appointments. It's actually shaping up to be a very busy day. Who says that money buys you a life of ease? If you want anything done around here, you have to do it yourself. All right, gentlemen, I will handle it alone. Thank you very much. Whatever you need to handle, we'll have to wait. AJ, Jason, Reginald, if you'll excuse us, I need a few minutes alone with Grandfather to discuss my future at ELQ. of the 
the Charles Street Development Ooh. Foundation. And what do you people develop? Oh, hopes and dreams. I dream big. Well, that's what we like. No, I, I won't settle for less than the moon and the stars. Oh, okay. So, this is a major loan? Yes. Well, yes, what's it is. your collateral? Let's see. My old baseball card collection. Okay. Annabelle's entire set of hair ribbons. <laughs> my family name. Well, that ain't worth much in the hood, bro. <laughs> How about my heart and soul? Hmm, well, now we're talking. <laughs> well, this place has some potential. Your brother's words exactly. Oh, yeah, where is he? Well, he went to get us some food. What, and left you to do the scut work? No, believe me, he did more than his share of sweeping and scrubbing this place. Good. Good, you have to watch him. I think he's genetically disposed to giving orders. Well, I am genetically disposed to being my own person. I've noticed. And besides, he's not my older brother, and I think at these lousy wages, I can talk back to my boss. Oh, then, as a member of the board, am I your boss, too? Don't push your luck. <laughs> This is a little scary. What? All right, well, how much, how much I'm enjoying this. Washing windows? <laughs> Anything with you is fun, but I, but I meant being on the board, helping make it happen. <clears throat> well, what's not to like? You didn't grow up with my family. You see, to me, business always meant conflict and one-upmanship. You know, people I care about trying to stab other people I care about in the back. I hate it. And now, all of a sudden, I'm a part of it. Listen, I hated politics and the whole activist thing that killed my uncle. And now, I'm finding myself caught up, and in fact, I'm going after it. Well, I, I think that's important. You know, it has to be something you choose to do, not something you do because of tradition of the family. Right. You know, and then you have to do it your way. You have to stay true to yourself. And... If you're lucky, you get to share it with someone who understands. Someone with nothing to prove who can ask you to prove anything in return. You know? Well, then I guess I'm lucky. <laughs> 